she'd run from us. And he's playing uh, the role of Carnegie. Can you put his card up for me? His card. His card. Yeah. yeah. How you doing, Gary? Gary, rule! Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm good. I'm good, Alan. Yes. Good? Yes. Okay, and next up is uh, Mr. Denzel Washington. What drew you to it? Introduce everyone to it? Uh, I think what drew my brother and I to the project was how uniquely different it was. And, and uh, we hadn't read anything. We were looking for something that mixed art and commerce together beautifully. And that's impossible. And it seemed as had it. And uh, we jumped on it. And it reminded us, the last thing, it reminded us a little bit of uh, uh, kind of like what we loved about Planet of the Apes, the original one. It, it was a, 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 an adventure journey, but it also had something to say, something to say. Um, I guess, and you look at the cast and, uh, and the directors, and that's pretty much what drew me to. It's a pretty simple decision. Um, uh, well, I responded to the script, uh, the part, and then I met, uh, and then I met Alan, and, uh, and that sort of clinched it for me. And, um, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Denzel, so. Me too. <laughs> uh, you know, it was just even going back to like a Menace uh, Society, the president of the enjoyed the Hughes Brothers' work. And uh, needless to say, the opportunity to work with Gary Oldman, we all know, you know, <laughs> you don't know. Uh, a real easy decision for me, so I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> That's okay. can, you, can, you, right, can you tell us a little bit about the world that the film takes place in? Uh, let the filmmakers do that. <laughs> the world takes place in, uh, it's like 30 years in the future. Uh, uh, there's been a major war, uh, and a few wars have followed, and there's not that many people left behind. Uh, whatever happens after wars, uh, the environmental changes, so we're about 30 years in the future. And uh, Eli is a character that's uh, on a mission, and uh, he's on that mission, no matter what, whoever gets in his way, he's, uh, he's similar in that kind of focus. And, uh, Gary wants something that he has. Very bad. It's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> Gary, this is your first time at Comic-Con. We've been hoping to get you here since Brown Sober's Rackle. This is, uh, uh, you yeah, I've been trying to get here for 10 years. Yeah, please. <laughs> We've wanted to. And this is, but this, this, this was the movie to do it. That's right. And the Can you what? talk a little bit about your character? Uh, well, as uh, Albert said, um, uh, Eli uh, has, has something um, I want. Hmm. And uh, it's a book. <laughs> I want to <laughs> <laughs> a very important book, yeah. and an old book, <laughs> and, uh, and I want this uh, because I, it, it's, it is, it's uh, a means to absolute rule and power to me, and with this book I can 
uh, guide, lead, control, manipulate, um, and uh, he, he uh, and Eli does not readily want to give it up and part with it. It's a comic book. <laughs> it's a graphic novel by the guy called JC. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get to that first. <laughs> we already but, know. Well, uh, it already sounds like you had a hell of an experience. <laughs> Can you yeah. talk a little bit about that? We had a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. About the second day of shooting, I realized I'm playing the wrong part. I'm like, oh man, Darren's got to be good. Darren's got the good part. You know, that was at the read through. Yeah, that, yeah, that was at the read through. I'm like, oh shoot, I'm playing the wrong part. <laughs> No, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, we had the opportunity to, uh, well, we, we shot the movie in New Mexico and uh, ran around. Jump in here, Mila, come on now. <laughs> you, you're just enjoying me now. <laughs> and there's one, there's one person here from New Mexico, yeah? <laughs> Albuquerque. <laughs> We have a little time for some Q&A. Got any questions for any of our panelists? <laughs> nope, here come the twins. Wow. Twins? This question is for Mila Kunis. <laughs> what was it like working with twins? slang African-American, sometimes it was the English gentleman, sometimes it was the thespian. My good sex. That's it. <laughs> Sirius Black, and uh, Gordon. Gordon. Um, well, credit to, uh, I mean, I don't know how it happened with the, I, I really don't know how it happened with the villain thing. I always, I'm very surprised. I mean, I, 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 I always say, you know, look at, look, at, look at the size of me. I mean, you know, I, I, naked, I look like a boiled chicken. <laughs> I, I, 
I know that kind of how it happened, but um, I'm this sort of, you know, villain bad guy. Um, and then, and then, you know, actually, thank you, thank God for Chris Nolan, who had the imagination to cast me as. Uh, Um, it, it really it depends. I had uh, I had a great time on this. I, I, I you know each each role that you play it sets up its own particular kind of hurdles that you have to get over. Um, and uh, I enjoyed I particularly enjoyed this part. It's a you know it's a great role um, with with great directors and uh, and a great cast. So we we I think we had a blast. On.